no camera, no investing of any kind, and this entire process from start to finish takes less than 30 minutes. In this video, I will show you how you can copy and paste to make over $20,000 online per month, just like this person here is doing, and without even showing your face on the internet at all. I will walk you through the process step by step so that by the end of this video, you will know exactly what you have to do to make this all work and start making money online right away. And with all of that said, let's now get right into this tutorial. Today guys, I will show you two examples of people making money on YouTube by doing little to no work, and of course by not showing their face on camera at all. The first channel I want to go over with you today is this one right here called Ryan Shirley. And right off the bat from the titles of these videos, you can see what this channel is all about. You have this video about top 10 places to visit on the Aeolian Islands. This video is about 25 places to visit in Germany. This video is on 10 places to visit in Sardinia and so on. Basically, this is a channel about travel. And making videos in this niche is a fantastic option for beginners as I will show you right now. I opened up this video here just as an example, which also happens to be the most popular video from this channel. And the number of views I will cover in a minute. Now I just want to show you how these videos are actually made and what they consist of. And as you can all see, apart from the beginning where his face is visible, the rest of the video just consists of royalty-free videos that he found online with a voiceover on top. And that's pretty much it. There's no fancy video editing, no showing his face apart from the intro, nothing like that. So as you can see, not only can you make these types of videos and not show your face, but still get big views, but the actual making of the videos is very easy. And I will show you exactly what you need to do to create them. With that being said, the views which I mentioned just briefly before, I want to show you right now. If you go back to the channel and filter by most popular videos, you'd find that they all got huge numbers. The one I've just shown you got 10 million views. This one got close to 3 million and this one got 2.5 million. So what you can all conclude by this information is that first and foremost, you don't have to show your face on camera. The videos are not hard to make, making them ideal for you guys since you're probably beginners who've done little to no video editing before. And thanks to the fact that this is the travel niche, you don't need any special kind of knowledge to actually create these videos, making them that much better for beginners. And lastly, which I think is the most important part of it all, the videos get big views, meaning that if you actually were to start a channel in the travel niche, you'd actually have a big chance to get some decent numbers. Another thing that I felt was worth mentioning that you may not have noticed yourselves is that the owner of this channel doesn't upload videos all that often. The latest video is just a short and was uploaded a few days ago. This regular video was uploaded about a week ago, but this one got uploaded a month ago and the next one two months ago. So you can say that the average video is being uploaded on this channel once per month. This further reduces the amount of work you actually have to do. You can basically create one video within a month and then just do whatever you want while making money in the process. How cool is that? As far as the actual numbers are concerned, if you go over to Social Blade, you'd see the previous channel gets per month about 2 million views, and according to Social Blade, is making up to $8,000 per month. Not bad at all. With all of that said, you can go a bit more into depth here and check out other numbers, such as the total number of views and so on. But I don't want to cover that because there's another example of someone doing literally the same thing and whoever runs this channel called Toropia is making even more money than Ryan. This video I've opened up as an example is literally the same type of video as the one I showed you on Ryan's channel a few minutes ago. But in this case, not even in the intro is the owner showing his face on camera. Yet, despite all that, this channel is doing even better and getting even more views. 
According to Social Blade, the monthly view count is at around 5 million, which is more than twice as much as the previous channel, and the amount of money made is up to $20,000 per month, just like I've shown you in the intro before. So this, guys, should serve as further proof of the potential to get paid big time here, doing not that much work, really. And by the way, whoever runs Toropia also doesn't upload videos all that often. So as you can see, despite these two being two separate channels, they have a ton of similarities, and both the owners of them make a lot of money on YouTube. So with all that said, let me now show you how you can create these types of videos. The first thing you need to think about is what your video should be about, and getting a video idea in this particular instance will be insanely easy. Just think of any country in the world that's a great tourist destination and run with it. As an example, I decided to use Greece. So what you now want to do is go over to Google and search something along the lines of best tourist destinations in and then your country of choice, which is Greece in my case. And as you can see when I type that in, I found a ton of articles. And this is how you will get info for your video so that you will know what to talk about when you record the voiceover, which will be your next step. So now what you want to do is first download a software to use, and a fantastic and popular one that I've mentioned numerous times on this channel is Audacity. It's free to download and it's easy to use, so you can use it now to record your voiceover. The great thing here is that you can use the article you've just found as a script of sorts. Keep in mind that you don't want to read it word for word since you'll probably have copyright issues. Instead, you'll want to paraphrase what you're reading, and that's pretty much it. You'll have the voiceover part done for you despite not having any knowledge on the subject at all. Now, in case you don't have a microphone, you can actually record your voice with just your smartphone or laptop if you happen to own one. And yes, the voiceover won't be high quality, but just keep in mind that nobody started with high quality equipment. Most popular YouTubers nowadays got it once they made some money, which is exactly what you will do. And recording your voiceover in this fashion is still a far better option than going on Fiverr, for example, and paying someone to do the voice for you, since you probably don't have the money to spare for that. Anyhow, with the voiceover done, you now want to get a thumbnail done. And here, what's so awesome is that thumbnails are very easy to create. You just need a photo and then add text on top of it about the country in question. And that's pretty much it. You can easily find high-quality photos over on Pexels.com to use for your thumbnail. Just search for the country you want to do a video on and download the photo you like. To now edit it, you can use a site called Photopea, which is like an online version of Photoshop. And all you'd want to do is just add text on top of the photo and your work is done. You now have the thumbnail. The last piece of the puzzle missing is the footage. And this probably will be the hardest part of all, but also the most fun one too. A site you can use to download footage online that is one of the best nowadays is called Storyblocks.com. Now, unfortunately, this isn't free to use, but it's not that expensive whatsoever, so if you can spare like 20 bucks a month, you can just pay this platform to get high-quality footage to use in your video. In case you don't have the money, then just use Pexels.com. But keep in mind that they don't have as many videos as Storyblocks and that they aren't as good. But it's not a bad idea to use it while you're just starting out. When you download all of the footage that you need, you now lastly need a video editing software. And here, any free one will do because you won't be doing any extensive video editing. If you want a recommendation, one I found a few months back called Lightworks seems to be the best one nowadays. So just come over to their homepage, download it, and then create your new video that you can then upload onto YouTube. And that's pretty much it. You can then upload the new video onto YouTube and start your YouTube channel. While it probably will be difficult at first, the niche is pretty popular, so in a few months you can expect to get bigger and bigger numbers of views, which eventually will allow you to start making some real money online, and without even doing that much hard work whatsoever. As easy as that.
If you learned something new today and enjoyed this video, be sure you support me and this channel with a like down below. And if you want to check out more of my videos, as always, don't forget the two that'll pop up in a second. Since I upload new videos on here daily, subscribe and turn on the notifications so you get notified whenever a new video goes live. As always, thank you for watching and see you in some of the next videos.